So guys, uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to verify domains in Mailchimp. Right. First, let us sign up or let us sign into Mailchimp account. Right. I'd already signed up into my Mailchimp account. Go to settings option. Then go to account. Go to account. There in this option called business, you'll find an option called settings. In settings, go to option verify domains. So click on verified verify a domain. Right. <clears throat> so the issue with Mailchimp is, if you want to verify a domain, first you should have a very—I uh, mean, you should have an email address associated with your domain. So first, let us create an email account. So to create an account, first sign into your uh, cPanel account. Sumit. K. Okay. So sign into cPanel account and enter the username and password of your cPanel <coughs> account. So uh, now I had signed into cPanel account. Uh, now go to this option email accounts. You'll find email accounts. Go to email accounts. So in email accounts, uh, for example, I'm creating uh, an email address. First, I should create an email address. So I'll write info at the rate uh, sumitkaringula.com. And I'll assign a password. Right, so the email account has been created. The email account is info at the rate sumitkaringula.com. Now what you'll do is, go to your domain. Uh, 
and then enter webmail because this email account is created through host and through hosting so let me enter in for the rate sumit karingula So first you have to set up your email address in case if you want to run mail service in MailChimp. So I had signed into my webmail account. Now go to Square Mail and uh, let me enter the full name. It will accept only if I enter the full name. And uh, let me click on Submit. And uh, so now the account has been set up. So what I will do is now as I'm using MailChimp account, uh, so if I if someone is replying to my mail. If you want to use this email address info at the sumitkaringula.com, you can use this or you can forward, you can use forwarders to your original company domain. So I'm adding a forwarder. Right, the forwarder has been added. Now what I should do is, as the domain has, I mean, as as the email account has been set up for the domain, so let me enter the domain name, info at the rate to Sumit Karingula. dot com. Right. So an email, they are trying to verify our domain through this email. So let us wait for the new mail. Right, so we got a verification mail from Mailchimp. Click on this, and then you'll find a verification link. So you can click on this. So now the domain has been verified, but if you want to send campaigns through your server, you need to authenticate your server also through your domain. So what you'll do is here, there's a cross mark. This should turn to tick. So click on Use Setup Instructions. So it is asking us to create a DKIM uh, detail. I mean, you have to enter the DKIM details by creating a CNAME record. So, if you want to create a CNAME record, again go back to cPanel account. Okay, now let me go back to home of cPanel. So, in cPanel, here you will find an option called Advanced DNS Zone Editor. Go to this option, Advanced DNS Zone Editor. Then, let's see what it is asking you to add there. Second. Right. It is asking me to create a C name record for K1 dot domain key Sumit Karangula with this record results. So first we have to create a DKM copy for C name record. So what we should do is oh, one second, let me close this. Right. So C name record. So let me go here record type is cname and what is the record name record name is k1 domain key the name of the cname you write here then the ttl you will find it here what is the ttl 14400 14400 then the cname sorry uh, the cname you should enter here one second. Okay. C name. Okay, this is the value. Sorry, here <coughs> the value is DKIM. Copy this and paste it here. 
and then click on add record so let me, there's a space here let me remove right now click on add record one second let me check again dot com after dot com there is a dot we should remove this dot right then click on add record so one record has been submitted then next you have to verify one more record you have to create a txt record so let me go to txt record for spf so here let us go to record txt record and uh, let's take the name the name of the record is for sumitkaringula.com Enter the name. Now the TTL value will be this only one double four double zero double four double zero. And the TXT data we already got it from here. Copy this. Then click on Add Record. Again, space. Huh? Right. Click on Add Record. Now we have added both the records. So let us go back and let us click on authenticate domain. Right, now authentication is done. Now while sending the mails, what is the email address that we created? Webmail? Info at the rate what? Sumit Karingala, you should use that for sending mails through this tool. Always you can take four or five more mails and you can send with their names, but through this domain we have to if you say you have to send the mails that's it this is how you can verify the mailchimp uh, domains actually i mean you can verify your domains in mailchimp thank you